Hello VFX people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja. In a previous chapter we have been covering the use of baked data by container materials. In that chapter we have been talking about uh, how to generate uh, these materials and how to set up their parameters and playback speed and colorizing, and transparency, stuff like that. Have a look at that video. Right now we are going to talk about a special case when you have a non-looped sequence and you embed it into a material and you apply that material on a cascade particle and you expect cascade to drive the behavior of this flipbook and the material um, yeah I'm going to show you a counter example here this is a simple quad and we have a looped sequence applied and we don't want to influence when this sequence starts to play and when the playback is ending it's just a continuum it's infinitely looping and basically the parameters driving this uh, material are constant well what about using dynamic parameters ah uh, yeah uh, typically uh, in the case of explosions and other non loop sequences we would like to influence uh, like the, the opacity, the color, and the playback of these uh, sequences dynamically. What does it mean? If you have a look at these ink spliffs, uh, they are definitely non-looped, which means they, uh, they start somewhere, they expand in space and slowly dissolve and disappear. And typically, we would like to apply this non-loop sequence on a particle during its particle's lifetime. So um, let's have a look how does it happen. Uh, here's the material used on these um, cascade particles and have a look at this particle usage uh, parameter group in the advanced material. If I enable use particle dynamic parameter for time it suddenly halts, stops in the material uh, preview because from now on it is expecting Cascade to provide this uh, function for the time. Uh, if I go to this dynamic module and have a look at this graph, it is uh, a linear function growing from 0 to 1 during the lifetime of the particle which is between uh, 1.4 and 2 seconds and so when the particle is uh, being spawned uh, this uh, ink spliff, this arch like sequence is starting to play and once the particle is uh, coming to the end of this uh, end of its lifetime uh, the flipbook and the simulation is dissolving and disappearing in sync with the particle lifetime and then uh, the particle is being killed so this is uh, how we are using uh, the particle dynamic module to drive the flipbook playback of the non-looped sequence two other things that we drive with parameters is the color and the opacity of the particle the color starts with this bright yellowish uh, strong emissive value and ends up with this normal red and alpha over life is defined by three points uh, four actually <laughs> and let's have a look how the graph looks like well yeah it starts with zero uh, climbing to this value of one and uh, slowly fading out so that is how uh, this uh, flipbook and the container material is controlled by cascade particles. And to achieve this, uh, you have to enable particle usage options for color, alpha and dynamic time parameter. That's all I wanted to tell you about. And uh, thank you for your patience. See you next time.